next guest is a talented actor you know from films like The Hunger Games, The Logan Lucky, and Scream. He stars in the hit Amazon series The Boys. New episodes stream Fridays on Prime Video. Let's take a look. But I promise no more secrets, right? So. Oh my God. Huey. Hold one second. You found more V. It's temporary V. It's temporary, okay? I'm not an idiot. I, I, I know it's sketchy. I've seen train spotting, but uh, it's Soldier Boy. I mean, what else was I supposed to do? Please welcome to the show, Jack Quaid, everybody. Here. So good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You're uh, from LA. You live there now, but you spent a lot of time in New York. I did, and as uh, I went to college here, I went to NYU. And as surreal as it is to be here with you right now, it's even more surreal to see people like Henry Melcher and Matt Ryman backstage. Yes, these are members of our staff yes. who uh, we, uh, over the course of the day, have been showing photos of you guys in college together. Yeah, yeah, just doing comedy, uh, having acne, being dorks. It's been <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah. You were living it up. You were, yeah. you were ticking off the all the prime of lists. my life. Yeah. Yes, true. Um, now uh, the. Boys is a very dark show, but it's also a very funny show. Yes. And I think those two um, synthesized very well when you were nominated for an Emmy, but yes. in the category of best drama. We were nominated. We, we, we are a show in which um, people blow up. There's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of blood. Yep. Um, and yeah, we were nominated for best drama. And I think the way that it happened was so funny. Like, there's you know, there's that clip that they show where they actually nominate you. And it was a very serious man. And he basically went, and now the final category, best drama. And then it shows a clip of us, and it's me screaming in a speedboat as we drive a speedboat into the stomach of a beached whale. Yeah. So that was the clip. And then they immediately cut to Bridgerton, which was just like <laughs> very serious period drama. <laughs> And I was like, this is mwah, this it is chef's really kiss. It really does, I feel like, tell you everything. Let's just watch, because it is exactly I, how you I describe it. I love this clip so much. Outstanding drama series. Here are the nominees. The Boys. Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> now. It did, it did cut away, because the, the Bridgerton clip also had a whale in it. That oh, was, right. That yeah. was that famous Bridgerton that was a, a Whale heavy year. <laughs> was, whale heavy year it was, for the They Emmys. always yeah. say that's the TV, that was the whale year. That was the whale year, <laughs> definitely. Um, we saw from the clip, uh, we, so your character, Huey, did not originally have uh, superpowers. No, And now no, yeah. uh, you have the power of teleportation. And I feel like one of the nice things about the honest portrayal of superheroes in The Boys is that you, uh, you accept a fact about teleportation that a lot of superhero shows would uh, ignore. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, for if you're teleporting, it's your biological mass or whatever. I'm, I'm no scientist, but yeah. it's your uh, biological mass going from one part of the room to another. So your clothes naturally wouldn't come with you. <laughs> right. uh, so in our show, whenever Huey teleports, his clothes stay where <laughs> he started, and then I emerge on the other side naked. So I had a lot of uh, a lot of nudity this season. <laughs> yeah, um, this is very yeah, exciting. So, this is what they offer you. Yeah. So this is called modesty wear, okay. um, and it's it's maybe worse than being actually naked. So yeah. when you're shooting the scene, uh, you're not actually naked. You're wearing one of these things. <laughs> Um, uh, and if you're wondering how it goes on, they provide yeah, you with this. A, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like an at-home COVID <laughs> test. You know, they have like the instructions. Um, and I think the uh, worst you, one. How do you think? Yeah. What do you think you do? That's the worst. Yeah. Oh, so this is like this is like not. Yeah. I know that. Now. That. Um, what did I don't, you I don't know how into detail I can get, but no. that, uh, I did not choose that one. Gotcha. I did right. not choose well, that so one. Well, so obviously, I mean, the instructions are too complicated. Yeah. Right? No. That's. <laughs> It's too, it's too uh, yeah, it's too highbrow for me, yeah. for sure, definitely. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you were also uh, in the Scream film uh, yes. that came out. Um, that must have been a fun project to be in. And I feel like, an, I will say, I, I feel like enough time has passed mm -hmm. to say that you had a very interesting role. I did. Uh, and this is very weird for me to say out loud. And uh, audience, 
please cover your ears if you don't want uh, screen yeah. spoiled for you. But uh, I was the killer. Congratulations! Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's a, a fun thing get. to congratulate a person yeah. for. You murdered. But the killer, you. to be the killer in Screen. Yeah. yeah I mean, was... if you're gonna be a killer. Yeah, it was awesome. They, they told me initially, and then I uh, immediately didn't believe them because what they do when they shoot a Screen movie is they want to prevent leaks. So they gave the entire cast fake scripts. Wow. With different victims, different killers, different, different everything. So they told me I was the killer. I was like, okay. And then we were shooting in North Carolina and I had to like keep this secret from the rest of the cast that I was the killer. But then I That's thought- That's a lot of killers have to do That's that. A, yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was really in character. Yeah. Also, on top of that, we were playing uh, Mafia a lot when we were like in our yeah. downtime. So we were playing a whodunit while shooting a whodunit. It was very meta. Um, but yeah, it was really, it was really weird. Do you weird. think there was some intra-cast jealousy when they found out you were the actual killer? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a thing you get jealous about yeah. necessarily, but it, it was crazy because at one point I thought, wait a minute, they said I'm the killer. Maybe they're lying to me. Right. Maybe they're pulling like a crazy other <laughs> twist and I'm gonna wind up like dead in an alleyway and not be a, a killer at all. Yeah. Um, uh, and that would have been, I guess, bad? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Well, I can't believe I'm saying it, but. Congrats on being Thanks. a killer. I, I guess I prefer to <laughs> murder. That's that's great. Well, yeah. I'm glad, you know, we try to dig in on this show and yeah. get to the bottom of who our guests are, and I'm glad we found that out about I you. I am a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hey, America. Man. Congrats yeah. again on the show. It's so special. Thank it's so you so unique. Much. And you're so wonderful. Oh, thank, thank you for you. being here, you guys. Jack Quaid, new episodes of The Boys, stream Fridays on Prime Video. We'll be right back with Sandy Honig, Mitra Johari, and Alyssa Stonaha.